Hey, how are you going today? I hope everything's going well. Uh, it's getting late here in Australia, but I wanted to get this video out to you. I'm putting a V page together as we speak. So here I am, I'm gonna record it and make a lesson for you at the same time. And what I wanna do in this video lesson is cover the Facebook features inside of V pages. Now we won't actually cover all the advanced stuff, but we'll get the V page Facebook friendly. So when you wanna post your Facebook V page link on Facebook, it'll look perfect every time. So let's jump in and take a look at Facebook friendly V pages. V pages, V for video pages. Here we go then, inside of WordPress admin, I'm in pages, now I've already gone ahead and created a new page, how to increase Facebook video response. And that's a video that I made. So scrolling down here, we've got Mastery Labs V pages. I've got it active here. And let's go ahead and activate our Facebook tools. There we go. And we'll come back to the comments in a moment, but I just want to show you what happens when we first click Facebook tools. If we scroll down here, now we can see Facebook tools, Facebook post open graph option, and we can design our Facebook ad in here or our Facebook publishing post in here. If I go back up here and I leave Facebook tools off, you can see there is no Facebook options here. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We'll give it a title. I'm gonna use the same title as I used in the video. I just don't feel like typing a new one. Response, fix the typo at the same time. There we go, post description, and you'll see where this goes in just a moment. Let me just do that here as well, just grab the description here. You don't have to do this, you can use any description, but you probably don't wanna sit around watching me type and retype a description. Post image. For this one, you can select the file and upload it, or then you can just paste in a URL. Now what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use my YouTube image. So all I need to do that is grab the video ID. This is a YouTube video ID. This is a little bonus tip. And I'm gonna go to vpages.net forward slash tools. And as I use different tools in our lessons, I'm gonna make these available to you here. And I've got here, get video thumbnail. I'm just pasting in my ID here. And you can see the different thumbnails that are available for this video. So I'm gonna grab this one here. Sometimes YouTube doesn't generate the big thumbnail, uh, sometimes it does. So just put in your video ID there for a YouTube video. It'll give you the thumbnail link. Back in our settings here, I'm gonna paste it in there. And you can see below here, I'm getting a preview of what my Facebook post is gonna look like. So there's the image that we just brought in from YouTube and you could use any image you like. You can even upload it. And then we can see here's the title and description and my website. So it gives you a nice little preview. Post type, you can leave it on website. If you wanna get advanced, you've got other options there. And then we've got comments placement. We'll come back to this. Comments placement, we can ignore this for now. Let's update our post. We'll go back to V pages here. And down the bottom here, we've got some links. This is to the Facebook debugger. 
what a name. So going over to the Facebook debugger, you can just Google it, but the URL is a bit, bit long, so I added the link on the vPages tool there. And we want to debug our video page. So we paste in our URL. Now that hasn't come out right. So what I'm going to do, let's open that up. There's our video page at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to grab this URL and we enter our video page URL. So there's that video page URL, fetch new scrape information. Scrolling down, you can ignore the F, uh, FB app ID alert. And here we've got how to increase Facebook video response. There's my title, there's my description, and there's my image. So it won't always look exactly like that, but the content will be the same. So let's try that out. And if for some reason you don't get the image or you don't get everything right, then just try and hit that scrape new information again. Don't click the show existing scrape information. Click the fetch new scrape information. So if we head over to Facebook now, and I'm in my timeline here, and I paste this link in, you can see I'm getting a really nice post. And what's cool about this post is, if I click it now, post, the entire post is clickable. And when people click that, it's going to come back to my video page, which is really, really, really cool. So let's go back and just add the Facebook comments. Going down here, just quickly, Facebook comments activate. And the comments will always automatically go with your designer options. And we can choose the placement of the comments. We're not using the action button at the moment, but if you do want to put the comments below the action button, you've got that option here. Update. Let's have a look at our video page. Hey, how are you going there? And there we go. We've got the Facebook comments below the video and it looks absolutely great. When people leave a comment, they have the option to check and leave their comment on their Facebook page. When that happens, this gets posted on their timeline and in on their Facebook wall. There we go, Facebook friendly view pages. Make sure you come back to the next lesson. We're gonna get into the action button and I'm gonna show you some cool advanced strategies with timed action buttons. So that's it for this lesson, Matthew McDonald here. You're over there and go ahead and set up a Facebook friendly video page.